Throughout human history, there are a number of once magnificent cities that have fallen into the murky depths of the sea, like the lost city of Atlantis, for example. Unlike Atlantis, though, the cities on this list are unquestionably real and are facing very real threats. No, these cities aren't disappearing for paranormal reasons. The culprit here is something all too real but equally menacing, rising sea levels, for the most part, anyway. As our planet continues to warm up, the ice caps are melting, and the seas are getting a little too close for comfort. I'm your host James, and these are the top 10 largest cities that will disappear in the next 50 years. And we're starting off the list with Venice, Italy. Venice is facing a grim future. The iconic city known for its winding canals and historic architecture is gradually slipping underwater. This is a full-blown problem threatening to erase Venice from the map in the next 50 years years or even sooner likely. The main culprit is the gradual subsidence of the city's foundation. Venice is built on wooden pilings that are driven into the marshy ground centuries ago and these timbers are decaying and the city is starting to sink. On top of that there's the rising sea level due to global warming. Something that's going to come up a lot on this list. As the water levels rise the delicate balance that has kept the city afloat for centuries is starting to tip. High tide or Aqua Alta are becoming more frequent and severe, causing regular flooding in the city. There are efforts being made to prevent this crisis from happening. The Mose Project is a system of movable barriers designed to block the incoming tides. But there have been some setbacks there, from corruption scandals to engineering challenges. So the fate of Venice isn't looking as pretty as the city is. The city might become a submerged relic within the next few decades. So yeah, get out there while you can. If you are liking our channel, by the way, why not hit that subscribe button? There are fun videos coming at you on the daily, so don't miss out. And at number nine, we have Dhaka in Bangladesh, and by extent, about 50% of the country. Dhaka is the capital and largest city in Bangladesh, situated on the banks of the Buranga River. Uh, the city, like the rest of the country, faces a pretty significant threat due to those pesky rising sea levels. With just a one meter rise, about 50% of Bangladesh could be submerged, including parts of Dhaka, of course. Bangladesh is a low-lying country, making it particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. The melting of the ice caps and glaciers is, of course, the main issue here, causing sea levels to rise all over the planet. The rise, again, even just to buy a meter, could inundate a vast areas of this country. The city is densely populated, too home to over 8 million people, and a big portion of its infrastructure is residential areas, industries, and essential services. These could all be underwater. The disappearance of Bangladesh as a whole is really not an exaggeration. Millions of people live in these low-lying coastal areas. The livelihoods of many are directly tied to agriculture, which is highly susceptible to changes in climate and sea level. The impacts would extend again beyond Dhaka, affecting the entire country. Coastal areas would be lost, displacing millions of people. Food security would be highly threatened, and the country's economy would be severely affected. Without you know immediate action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and adapt to this changing climate this scenario for Bangladesh disappearing even as soon as 2045 uh, is not that far-fetched. Next on the list we have Antananarivo, Madagascar or Tana. Uh, Tana is the capital city of Madagascar, an island nation off the southeast coast of Africa. The future of Tana along with the entire island of Madagascar is under threat due to widespread forest fires and rampant deforestation. Madagascar is known for its biodiversity. There are tons of plant and animal species that are found like nowhere else on Earth. Unfortunately, this biodiversity is at risk because of the destruction of its forests. Forest fires, often caused by human activities like mass deforestation for logging and agriculture, this is leading to the loss 
of critical habitats. If uh, things continue on this way, experts predict the Tana and, and Madagascar as a whole may face some serious challenges in the next 30 years. The destruction of the island's forests not only threatens the wildlife, but also endangers the livelihoods of local communities that depend on these forests for resources. Deforestation plays a big role in soil erosion, loss of water quality, and disruptions in the natural balance of the ecosystems there. This coupled with the potential impacts of climate change eh, poses a pretty serious risk to the sustainability of the ecosystem on the island. Tana could be severely affected by natural disasters like floods and landslides as well because of all the degradation of its surrounding ecosystems. Number seven, Adelaide in South Australia. Once again here, it's pretty much the entire state of South Australia that's in danger. South Australia is dealing with some serious problems that could mess things up big time in the next 50 years. Water has always been a headache in Adelaide. They got a lot of their water from the Murray Darling Basin, but people have been sucking it dry and droughts keep making things worse. The land around Adelaide and the rest of South Australia is already pretty dry and climate change is really cranking up the heat. So the result is more parched land. This isn't just bad for the scenery, it messes with farming, wildlife, and pretty much everything that relies on the land staying, you know, not dry as a bone. Put these water and dry land issues together and South Australia's got a real problem. Things don't change. We're talking about messed up ecosystems, struggling farms, and just a not so nice living situation for the folks there. Climate experts say it's gonna get worse with more heat waves and messed up rain patterns. And at number six, we have Shanghai, China. Shanghai's core is under threat from water. The city sits on the mouth of the Yangtze River and rising sea levels along with subsiding land are making the water creep into the heart of the city. It is a very real threat that could mess with businesses, homes, and the daily life of, of millions of people. It's not just Shanghai either though. Other cities around it could encounter the same issue. The whole Yangtze River Delta, a mega region with millions Millions of people and tons of economic activity is dealing with rising waters. Climate change isn't doing Shanghai any favors. With global warming, sea levels rising and typhoons are becoming more intense. That's a double whammy for a coastal city like Shanghai. Experts are sounding the alarm that if things don't change, major flooding could become the new normal. And in our number five spot, we have Jakarta. Oh boy, Jakarta is in a pretty bad way. Probably the city on this list that's under the biggest threat of being submerged. This is mainly because of land subsistence. With a population of approximately 10 million, Jakarta has earned the title of the fastest sinking city in the world, sinking at a rate of two to four inches per year. This is happening mainly due to the extensive extraction of groundwater. The city has been rapidly expanding for years and escalating the demand for water resources has been making things increasingly worse. The excessive depletion of groundwater leads to the gradual sinking of the city's land, making it more and more susceptible to the rising sea levels. To make matters even worse, Jakarta is dealing with escalating rainfall and flooding. Projections indicate that a significant portion of Jakarta, around 25% of it, could be submerged by 2050 if current trends continue. The situation in Jakarta is so bad that it's actually going to be replaced as the capital of Indonesia by Nusantara, a, a soon to be built city around 12 Hundred miles away. Next up, we have Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City, the most populated city in Vietnam, is facing a pretty grim future with a looming threat of being swallowed by rising sea levels within the next 50 years or probably even sooner. With over 20 million people, nearly a quarter of Vietnam's population, residing in vulnerable areas, the stakes are pretty high. Of course, rising sea levels are the issue here, a consequence, again, of global warming as the Earth's temperature continues continues to rise, ice caps, glaciers melt, causing sea levels to surge. Vietnam, with its low-lying terrain, is particularly vulnerable. More than 20 million people in Vietnam are living on land that's on the chopping block, ready to be inundated by the encroaching sea. Ho Chi Minh City, being the nation's economic powerhouse, would bear the brunt of this onslaught. And the implications aren't just environmental, they're economic, 
and social. Saigon is the economic center of the country and faces the very real risk of disappearing underwater. This isn't just a matter of losing land, it's about losing homes, businesses, the livelihoods of millions of people. At number three is Basra, Iraq. Basra, Iraq's primary port city, is situated along the Shat al Arab, a substantial river flowing into the Persian Gulf. The region faces a looming threat of disappearance due to a number of factors. For starters, the intricate network of canals and streams in Basra, along with the neighboring marshland, makes it highly susceptible to rising sea levels. The low lying land increases the risk as even a modest increase in these rising sea levels could lead to widespread flooding and submersion of the city and its surroundings. What makes Basra's situation even worse though is the city's vulnerability to waterborne diseases. The city already grapples with significant issues related to water quality making the population highly susceptible to health hazards. So increased flooding just amplifies that risk even further. Number two, Bangkok. Thailand's bustling capital is facing a very real threat that could wipe out chunks of the city within the next 30 years. Over 10% of Thai residents, that's more than a decent slice of the population, are living in areas that are on the hit list to be underwater by 2050. And surprise, surprise, uh, yeah, rising sea levels are to blame. I told you I'd be bringing up that a lot on this list. Thailand with its fair share of coastal territory is in the line of fire. As the earth continues heating up, things are just looking bad. Finally though, we have Savannah, Georgia. Savannah faces a significant threat of disappearing due to a combination of geographical vulnerability and the increasing frequency of extreme weather patterns. The city is situated in a hurricane prone area, making it very susceptible to destructive impacts of hurricanes and storms. The two major rivers, the Savannah River to the north and the Ogeechee River to the south, also add to the risk. If these rivers overflow, the surrounding marshland could be inundated. The city's location only makes the impact of hurricanes and flash floods worse, with the potential of severe consequences. According to predictions, by 2050, Savannah is expected to experience historical flood levels that were previously considered only like once per century events, uh, except these are going to be happening every year. This increase in natural disasters obviously poses a huge threat to the city. With all that said though, I've been your host James, and I will catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.